Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. Let's continue our WordPress series further and today we're gonna talk about this top navigation bar. A very less used feature but it's amazing once you get in the habit of using this particular top navigation bar, your life is gonna become much more easier and much more awesome. I would say this is the most underseen feature of the WordPress but uh, trust me in this video I'm gonna make sure that you understand how powerful this feature is now let's just go ahead and before we move further uh, let me just move on and show you this that if you'll just click on this uh, LCO or whatever your website name is and you're gonna hit visit website you are gonna be taken onto the front end part of the website now we have chosen just the default theme the 2015 theme it looks decent because the image is good but as soon as you go at the bottom side uh, this doesn't look much amazing and you might be thinking hey my WordPress website is not looking that awesome now this is a quick misconception that you have to clear it out whenever you are going to install any theme or you're gonna put any images or context or whatever you are just looking on to that it will not look good by default so you have to tweak out a little bit in whatever the theme you are using uh, if you can tweak out from the code perspective, it's gonna be much more awesome, but no need to go and worry about much of the code stuff. We're gonna do a manual manipulation in the colors and everything here. Now with this, I would also like to mention that if you want to make your website look amazingly beautiful, then images do play a big role. Yes, CSS is important, but I mean, images always play the biggest role there. Now in this uh, particular series, as we'll be progressing further, I will uh, recommend you a couple of resources where you can just create beautiful and amazing images so simply, so quickly, uh, without learning about Photoshop or any other software. It's just online stuff, very quick and amazing. If you're watching this channel, of course, you deserve uh, that your website looks amazingly beautiful. Rest of that will come up later on. Right now, just onto a quick example, this all blog is just basic theme. This is the most basic theme I could have ever found on the on the WordPress site, but it looks beautiful. And uh, I think you can agree on that. This is all looking beautiful because the images are amazingly designed. So make sure uh, when I'll be recommending you the images, softwares and everything, uh, you always upload images after editing, not before that, okay? So let's just go ahead and talk about this. Uh, first of all, we're gonna go back onto this part. So this top navigation bar is super important and play uh, a little bit role into your life as well as you'll be progressing. First of all, as you click on the WordPress, there is nothing much interesting on it. It's just about WordPress.org, some documentation in case you want to design some themes or plugins. Nothing much important for us. The home button is actually a transformable and entire bar will change based on the context on which page you are, what is the bottom display and everything. If you'll click on the visit website, it will take you onto the front end part and same menu changes back and takes you directly to the dashboard, to the themes, widget areas and menus. And this is super simple uh, because let's just say you want to directly go into the theme section, you can directly navigate and just change the theme. I think this is a really, really handy feature. Now the next one is uh, this guy that says uh, refresh icon and everything. This is for the updates. Uh, if your website will be showing any update, it will come, otherwise it will go automatically off. And the next one is to moderate the comments. Right now we don't have any comments and therefore it is not there. The next one is super important. You can directly create a post, media, page or user from this icon. Now let me show you uh, how quickly that is. Let's just say you are on to front end of the website. Now. Let's just say you want to create a new user on your website. Later on, we have a full section dedicated about what users can do and what type of user you can have. First, what you're gonna do in the regular case, you're gonna go into your dashboard, okay? Then you're gonna go into users and then you can click on the add new user and from here you can make a new user. Now what you can do if you are in the habit of using this navigation bar, just directly click on the new and you're gonna click on the users and there you go saving click efficiency is everything in development or in coding so make sure you are in the habit of using this nav bar okay and uh, just on to a side note again as you will be progressing into the course we'll be uploading more plugins and sometimes based on the plugins new features are also available on the top menu bar or nav bar now on the right hand side you'll see that it says howdy hitesh a very very signature uh, greetings by the wordpress 
and uh, this icon might not be appearing on your case now this is this is going to appear from a website known as gravatar and uh, gravatar there we go and uh, you have to create an account and just upload a photo wordpress automatically links up your email wherever your email is going to be used this gravatar will be uh, always going to be there create like five wordpress website with the same email your gravatar will automatically being imported there uh, very simple nothing tough just uh, sign in using wordpress and just upload your photo nothing no big deal there uh, there we go. So this is uh, the basic one and again, of course, you can edit your profile in case you're looking up for that uh, Like a uh, username your first name last name basic stuff You already are aware of that and this is the email which is responsible for bringing your gravatar here and uh, this is simply cool and It also says it here. You can change your pictures using gravatar or can generate password or can log out uh, from every session so this is the basic overview of how the navbar appears now also finally i want to make sure that you get uh, one more update about this top navbar which a lot of people miss so let's just say we are looking forward this and this is a hello world post automatically generated let me click on this so you think that this is a great post and you might want to edit this post now notice the contextual top menu bar is directly here with a button that says edit post uh, again, I can click click on here and I can just directly edit this post. For example, I'll just go on to the lorem ipsum website. Okay. And let's just generate a some lorem ipsum and so that it can look good, a decent one. We're going to copy this. We're going to go in here onto our website and we are going to paste that directly. There we go. Lorem ipsum. We are going to update from the right hand menu bar and that's it. We are going to go directly onto the view post. Now, I am in a habit of uh, going back and forth from the navigation bar, but you can also hit the preview changes and can directly go there. I like to just hit this menu bar and notice directly. Now, in case you are not aware and not familiar in using this top menu bar, what you would have done in that case, go to LCO, directly go to the dashboard, then go to your posts, click on the all post, and maybe you have like hundreds of posts then you have to search on to thread scroll through it and then just have to edit it i find this completely completely useless i always go on to the front of my website with this navigation bar always on and whenever i see a blog post that needs a little bit editing i just click on here and saves a time seems a little bit seconds of my life that's amazing so we will be working on these such features and also in the upcoming features upcoming videos we are going to learn how we can create these posts what are post pages difference between them and a lot of such thing okay so i hope you have enjoyed this video in case you haven't uh, yet subscribed to the channel go ahead do subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll surely catch you up in the next video